Hello guys, welcome. Today I will review character from Genshin Impact, Chong Yun and Dilak. And now let's see Chong Yun's skill first. He is one of my favorite character here. Chong Yun normal attack is performed up to four consecutive strikes. Let's try once more. One, two, three, and four. Now let's try the charge attack. Tap and hold normal attack to perform the charge attack. Okay, once more. Chong Yun will perform continuous whirling attacks against all nearby enemies and it will drain his stamina over time. Next skill is his ice element. Chong Yun will strike the ground and causing a cryo explosion in a circular AOE in front of him. This skill will frost the water element and make enemies cannot move or using a skill. And now let's see his ultimate skill. And this is the Chong Yun gameplay including the ultimate skill. Chong Yun summons 3 giant spirit blade and exploding as they hit the ground. When the spirit blades explode, they will deal AOE cryo damage to the enemies. Next is Chong Yun passive talent and constellation. When we use the ice skill Chong Hua Layer Frost, all characters who has wielding sword, claymore, or pole arm within the field have their normal attack speed increased by 8%. Next, when the field created by Chong Hua Layer Frost disappear, another spirit blade will be summoned to strike nearby enemies. Enemies hit by this blade will have their cryo resistance decreased by 10% for 6 seconds. Next, Chong Yun Constellation. The last attack of Chong Yun's normal attack combo releases 3 ice blades. Each blade deals 50% of Chong Yun's attack as cryo damage to all enemies. The ultimate skill cast within the frost field created by Chong Hua Layer Frost have their delay time decreased by 15%. Next, increase the level of the ultimate skill by 3. Next, Chong Yun regenerates 1 energy every time he hits an enemy affected by cold or frozen. Next, increase the level of Chong Yun's layer frost by 3. Next, the ultimate skill deals 15% more damage to enemies with a lower HP remaining than Chong Yun. This skill will also summon one additional spirit blade. That's all for Chong Yun and now let's see 
uh, deluxe skill. Deluxe normal attack is performed up to 4 rapid slash. 1, 2, 3, 4. Tap and hold the normal attack to do the charge attack. Dilak will perform continuous rapid slash, followed by a power slash at the end, but it will drain stamina over time. Next, the fire skill, slash forward, which deals pyro damage. You can use this skill three times consecutively. Now, let's see the ultimate skill. Summoning a phoenix that flies forward, dealing pyro damage to all enemies. Now, let's see the luck passive talent and constellation. This talent will increase the luck charge attack duration for 3 seconds and reduce the stamina cost by 30%. For 12 seconds after using the ultimate skill, the luck gains a 20% pyro damage bonus and his normal and charge attack will deal pyro damage. And if you are gonna cooking, don't forget to use the luck. The luck deals 15% more damage to enemies whose HP is about 15%. When the luck takes damage, his base attack increases by 10% and his attack speed increases by 5% lasts for 10 seconds. Increase the level of sharing onslaught by 3. Within 2 seconds of using Searing Onslaught, casting the next Searing Onslaught in the combo deals 40% additional damage. Increase the level of the ultimate skill by 3. After casting Searing Onslaught, the next 2 normal attacks within the next 6 seconds will have their damage and attack speed increase by 30%. Okay guys, that's all for today. See you on my next video. Bye-bye.